and today you're going to go live with me while I kind of show you what I bought for the cat stocking. I have had to hide it all. Um, I have troublemakers, but yeah, I wanted to show you all live and kind of talk to you a bit. This is kind of making things fuzzy. Let me unplug the Christmas tree. See if that helps or, Ooh, I know what it is. I know. Don't mind me as I do this. Okay. My ring light. Oh, it's too close to the camera. So now you're a bit crooked, but you know, we, we just deal with it. So every live stream, there's always something. I go live with my husband. There's always something. Um, so thank you all for joining me that are in the chat. I greatly appreciate it. Um, yeah, got the Christmas vibe going on in the RV. Got our skinny Christmas tree that I, I, I figure I'm going to end up making a cons consolation. So, yeah, I almost said constellation like the stars. Constellation of all the times that I realize that Charlie's in the tree and I start filming and he jumps out or knocks an ornament off or literally the Christmas tree came out and then luckily went back. <laughs> um, this thing's not going to make it till Christmas. <laughs> not with Charlie. Uh, I just put all these ornaments back on for the video because... Um, yeah, yeah, there's been nothing. He really likes the, like, these little things, the leaves. Oh, my goodness. Um, it's Charlie. So, last year with Charlie, we had a cat climbing uh, thing for the Christmas tree. So, I guess he thinks, since this is his second Christmas, that this is what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to go up the Christmas tree. Um, I bought a pencil tree and folded all the branches forward so it could go flat against the wall and took two of the feet off. So it's not really supposed to stand like that up against the wall, but we'll see. Nothing is glass on it. Nothing's going to break except for maybe light bulbs. But so let's see who all is here. Hello, Mark, <clears throat> our resident sarcastic comedian. Um, Miss Donna's here, Diane's here, Alan. Oh my goodness, all my favorite people. Ninja Mama and Sue. So thank you so much for joining me. I uh, <clears throat> kind of just wanted to be able to chat for a bit. I haven't done a live in quite some time. Supposedly my kids are going to stay out of this. But I'm filming in the RV with one in one bedroom and one in the other bedroom. <coughs> My husband is out of town looking for a missing person. So, oh, there's a Fiona in the chat room. I just saw the name. That's my daughter's name. I love the name. But yeah, so hopefully he can help give a family some bit of news to one way or another of if their loved one is nearby. Um, so let's see. And a couple people from Australia. Thank you for joining me. So this is the cat's Christmas stocking. I got this at the Dollar Tree. You know, literally a dollar. Well, dollar twenty-five now. I got these guys at the Dollar Tree too. They were three dollars a piece. Are they cute? I may have a whole gnome thing going on. Um, there's three more of this size that are gray and white themed with a, like accents of red. And then the stockings are also <laughs> gray, white, and red, um, gnomes. Here, wait, let's see if it lets me. Oh, <laughs> see, and then we have some little gnome buddies and, um, oh, don't look at the messy place. Hmm. I've been doing housework, um, fixing up the house. We are completely like making it turnkey um, to be able to sell it, hopefully. Because every time we try what we think is going to be easy, it goes out the window and isn't easy. So <laughs> we really would like to get out of this place and hit the road. Hence living in an RV in my driveway. Oh, look, I see a daughter in the distance. That's not going to last very long, is it? Okay, so why we are all here, besides hearing my daughter walk. Oh, here. Look, I found a stick up, and it's a 
cup holder. <laughs> nice and handy. All right. So the, well, to start with, I did have these on the counter in a bag. The other bag is also shredded because I got it at two different places. <coughs> Can you hear a little mouse in the distance? Uh, uh-huh, making noises. Always has to distract me. But let's see, I'm trying to read the comments as we go along. Oh, so uh, Marcia is in also an RV, a 24 footer. Hopefully you're not a family of four like me, because I might go, well, I think anyone could go to crazy in a 24 footer with four people, uh, especially if you have five cats with you too, like me. So I'm pulling everything out here. That way I can pay attention to one thing at a time. All right, so I got a, a bit to try. Um, I got some favorites of the cats. Oh, you have three Maine Coons. Mm. You're probably like me and feel like there's cat litter everywhere constantly, no matter how much you vacuum. Um, ooh, and more from the UK. Do I miss my house? My daughter's shaking her head, yes. Me, not so much. The RV is actually nicer than the house. Um, she looks so shocked. 15 years, though, of um, our starter house, which was... Uh, when we bought it, technically a two bedroom, even though there's like a bonus room downstairs, um, like mother-in-law suite, but in our county at the time, because it was partly underground, you couldn't call it a bedroom, but now you can. So it's a three bedroom, but it's only like 1200 square feet. It's, it's a 43 foot RV. It's not much far off. It feels like, um, so let's see. So these are all, almost all new things to buy the cats. Um, let's see. The only thing that is an oldie but a goodie. These are from Target. I've shown these in other videos. They're, there's nothing special to them. I think there's a little bit of catnip in them. It says 50% filled. The string on the tail, I have to say, came from me. From my idea at the cat toy company that I used to, I thought, I was part owner in, but I got screwed out of. Um, if you don't know, that's where my history of cat toy lady comes from is, um, I'm a registered vet tech. I worked for a veterinary based cat toy company for five and a half years, designing cat toys and running the manufacturing side and have lots of patents out there that the company got hold of. I was given a promissory note saying that you own part of the company and it never followed through. And of course there's a cat trying to roll in the catnip. <laughs> Oh, maybe my daughter can take the bag away. Go put that in the trash, baby. Okay. Um, but, so I came up with the idea. I found paper rope, this stuff, and I started putting it on cat toys. I had never seen it before. No one had ever seen it before. Um, it's just so much safer. If they do eat a piece, it's paper. It's a whole lot more of a chance of it being digestible and passing through without a problem. Um, compared to other strings and having it short like this means that um, as long as they don't eat the whole toy by itself or all together, it's not going to have anything to anchor to. There's nothing dangerous about it. It's just going to pass through and may irritate a little and cause some, you know, a little burping here and there, uh, maybe a little bit of soft stool, but it's not going to greatly affect them, at least from the veterinary point of view. So three mice. These are very well loved in our house. For some reason, they keep being drowned in the water bowl. My fat cat right here, Cindy, the big 18 pounder, pounder if you ever see her or my stuff, my very bold colored calico. Um, she likes to carry them around and howl and then drop them in the water bowl. And Ellie Mae, the muted calico, my little petite thing, also does the same thing. So, needed refill. Um, Yes, and apparently they're part like a raccoon because, you know, all the raccoons that they wet their food. So I figured that's what they're doing. They're drowning. No, ma'am, you don't need to say hi. No, I'm not saying hi. I'm saying when your mama say hi. Oh, oh, yes. <laughs> Can you go back in the other room, please? Why? Because you're distracting me. 
every time the same fight at least this time I'm not trying to do anything educational because if you've seen me in those videos I kind of like lose my mind and can't think of, of anything and stay on task um, so yes are you dressing up Nug <laughs> as a Christmas gnome yes. <laughs> my daughter just whispered yes um, no he won't dress up as anything else for me after I made a cat video of him <laughs> I can't blame them. Um, but so, yeah, so these are from Target. I think they're like $3.99. Um, but my cats love them. And what's really neat about these also, there's no metal in them. So if you need to refresh the catnip, besides marinating them in like a plastic bag or a jar, more catnip, you can throw them in the microwave for like five seconds and it re-releases the oil that's in them in the catnip um, to give a second life to the toy when it's not, you know, drowned. And I'm just trying to look at the, oh, your calico is 20 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. Mine is like Andre the giant is the way I can, I compare her. Charlie and Ellie, they're full grown. They're nine pounds. Kitty is 17 years old and 11 pounds. She's my biggest. And then there's the 18 pounder. <laughs> she would look so little as a kitten. <laughs> I was fooled. All right. So this is another new one I'm trying. Um, some of these. So you can see they're catnip or not catnip <clears throat> silver vine sticks. Um, so I'm going to probably remove that. I, I could care less about the fluff that's on them. Um, it's more, I really do want to try Silver Vine 6. If you've seen any of my videos about Silver, Silver Vine, um, again, the company that I worked with, um, we were one of two importers of Silver Vine in the entire country. Um, so I was very well educated on it. 79% of cats react to it, unlike catnip where less than half um, actually react to it. It's a different type of buzz for them. It's more of a euphoria so kind of ecstasy for cats versus catnips like them getting drunk and partying and then they get mellow and chill. This is just the mellow and chill and pet me and rub on me and everything feels good. And again, 79% of cats respond to it in studies, but there's a catch to it. They re respond to the fruit gall, which is like a... Um, some people call it a berry, but it's not. The vine grows... A midge, a type of fly, lays an egg on it and makes a bubble. And Chinese herbal medicine, that's like the tainted part, and they throw it away. But for some reason, that's where all the cat attractant gets multiplied. Not so much in the sticks. The sticks, not, not much of the cat attractant is left in here. Um, so that's why I want to see, do my cats still like it? They love silver vine. All of them do. So will they still react to the sticks themselves? Sometimes these are... Uh, like seen as or sold as dental sticks for cats because they chew on them. Um, cats do like to be able to chew on things like paper straws on their back teeth, things like that. Uh, cardboard, you see that they chomp on it and it kind of gets that scrubbing motion. So I get where they call it a dental stick. But yeah, I want to see if my cats will find any interest in this. Um, they do like the catnip blend from Meowawana. Uh, that is a silver vine catnip blend. Um, I've yet to find one that they don't like of that because they use like a, there's one that's a ver valerian root and catnip blend. And then, um, wild honeysuckle, Canadian wild, wild honeysuckle root, uh, ground into a powder also mixed with the catnip. Like they have lots of the, all the different types of cat attractants they mix with catnip um, because catnip is really cheap and these other things, um, have to be powdered and a little goes a long way. Like silver vine, it takes a minute pinch of the powder of the fruit gall to attract a cat. And I'm talking like a minute amount. Um, if you ever watch the Trap King, um, who like does the TNR trap neuter release, um, on his hard cases or anywhere that he keeps getting uh, 
possums or raccoons that keep coming to eat the food and he's catching them instead of the cat, he will use silver vine, which he, by the way, he is local and he got that from our company. I never really got to meet him because I was always like shoved in the back and kind of was told to like mind the booth if we were at a cat event like CatCon. I was always like the salesperson, even though I was the one that invented every single item that the other person was pushing. Um, yeah, as you can tell, I don't like being in the background. <laughs> Who knew? But um, a lot of TNR people are starting to use silver vine and it only comes from China it, and a couple places in Japan. So it has to grow in really high altitudes um, and have that special midge that's only in Asia. So yeah, uh, let me just check out, <laughs> let's see. Yeah, the Tomcat, he is over 20 pounds, just a little bit. Um, and as Mark joked around about Jeremy dressing up as a cat. Um, yeah, some people, like less than half the cats respond to catnip. So definitely try cat, uh, silver vine, lemongrass, lemon balm, fresh is uh, one of the ways it doesn't have to be dried. Um, cat grass, and there's actually a specific grass considered a cat grass, which is in the lemongrass family, by the way. Um, Canadian honeysuckle root. It comes in a big block and some cats love just rubbing all over this block of it. Um, I'm trying to think. Valerian root is another one. So yeah, and or stinky hats in my house. Jeremy's socks and shoes and his hat, his underwear. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what it is. <laughs> the cats act like his funk is some type of cat attractant. They love it. Um, we all have our dirty secrets, right? <laughs> but yeah, so I want to try Silver Vine 6. And I'm going to do my best to make shorts or reels, depending on what platform it gets put on, of how the cats like everything. A lot of people have been complaining that, oh, you haven't posted in a couple months. I have been posting at least once a week, but they've all been shorts. Um, with trying to work full time and, you know, do cheerleading and gymnastics and tumbling and with two kids, it's been a bit much, uh, and trying to now completely redo, I've scraped all the popcorn ceiling off in our guest bathroom, redid the ceiling, um, painted every wall, every trim, scrubbed all the floors, well, most of all the floors, I'm still working on that part. Um, sting cleaned, like I have been going to town for a couple weeks now, straight, every single day when I get off work. But so I'm just at a oomph. Um, but next week, next Friday is my last day of working, uh, a regular bait on a re regular basis. I am going to fill in here and there while I'm still in town and in the area, but it, it may be like once a week. Um, just because I'm going to be homeschooling the kids and yeah, yeah, no more having them off at school and having mommy time, <laughs> but I do it for a good cause. Um, many of you know, again, the RV, we are going to be traveling around mainly the East coast and trying to help people find their loved ones or at least know as a rule out, no, they're not in that area. Um, so yeah, and I may get to dabble in being a, uh, um, cameraman, camera woman, but yeah, I was getting burned out. That's why I started doing the reels because I mentally could not keep up with everything <coughs> because again, I run the website for exploring with Nug and, um, wrecked and recovered, like the whole t-shirts, all that stuff. I do have t-shirts that are going to be coming out soon. Oh wait, I'm on my phone and I'm looking for it. I was going to show you pictures of it. Um, I have a couple shirts are already designed and a couple more that I had the phrase in mind, but I don't have the actual, uh, I haven't sat and made the shirt yet and designed it. 
um, my favorite and what seems to be everyone's favorite of the couple that I have done um, is show me your kitties <laughs> and yeah and I'll have a cat toy lady shirt not that I think the, the ones with phrases are a whole lot more fun but exploringwithnug.com will start having a cat toy lady section in the next couple of weeks just saying I had enough people request I'm going to give in and do a cat toy lady section and have some stickers and t-shirts maybe some cups because we all need cat mugs that's one thing I'm very sad about right now is uh, I collect cat mugs but in the RV it's not safe to be traveling around with anything that's breakable even Target today has a cat mom mug by the way and I couldn't buy it because we only do plastic plastic oh Amazon delivery <laughs> I think but uh, well I have a Charlie one well apparently I need to make a Charlie uh, shirt um, I'm not sure what it'll say it might be him coming out of the Christmas tree if you guys have seen that picture yet um, Charlie is very aggressive about coming out of the Christmas tree and attacking um, yeah Donna Wells says that her cat has a foot fetish too go figure and so then I have this is also Target um madcap I don't know what that is but it's a mouse but the good texture that the cats like to bite into kind of wooly it's a <laughs> very well velcroed uh refillable catnip mouse comes with some catnip usually the stuff that comes with this yeah take it or leave it so that's why I like to use the meow awana because they use the organic like high potency catnip um, and I, I've done the tests. I have had regular catnip and the high potency next to each other, and they go right for the high potency every time. Um, that's when I worked for the cat toy company. I, you know, that's a hard job, isn't it? <laughs> Testing to see which catnip they like most. Um, if you do want to buy Silver Vine, the company I do recommend for that is From the Field just because I did see some low and dirty that happened with the silver vine that came to the company I worked for where it came in soaking wet and covered in mold and it was still ground up and processed covered in mold for your cat and it made me sneeze and cough every time it opened so I'm sure it's not good for your cat either you used to grow catnip it's a some cats really like fresh catnip and it gives them that extra fiber it helps move hairballs through it's not a bad thing um, my scaredy cat is actually out and about um, this is Donnie you guys have never seen him before on anything let's see if I can oh I scared him hi Donnie yes I need to clean the water bowl I see it but yeah Donnie's the um, I live in the closet cat Let's see if I can fix this now. But Donnie is the cat that lived under the bed for the first 12 years of his life. And then we moved into the RV and he's like, okay, I think I like RV life. It's not as loud because, you know, Jeremy has a present to him and he kind of stomps as he walks around the house and the whole house shakes. And that cat was scared to death. Anytime Jeremy entered the house, like it, all he ever saw was the streak of the cat. The cat now comes out with Adam and Jeremy sitting on the couch. He just walks around like it's no big deal. He, he's just hanging out. It doesn't have to be dark anymore too. He can come out any time of day and he just walks around. So RV life is good for the cats. But back on <laughs> track, there's, there's no way this conversation is staying completely on track today. Um, but yeah, so refillable catnip mouse. This one does have a regular string tail, kind of like that slick silkiness of a string. Mm -hmm. But anything refillable that you can put tons of catnip into, the cats love. They love catnip pouches, uh, toys of any type. They're, they just, it's something they fight over. 
And yes, I do have to empty them out periodically, uh, take all the catnip out, let them air dry because they're going to go in the water. And why was Ninja Mama just hidden? Oh, okay, sorry. I thought <laughs> it was vice versa. No, good going, Ninja. Miss Mama. Um, apparently someone is saying something inappropriate, so someone was hidden. I just want, at first with my vision, um, it looked like that person hit her. I'm like, wait, she's one of my moderators. That can't happen. But, um, okay. Next, um, but wait, I'll finish my Target run first. Okay, so something else I got at Target, um, if you've seen my video where I make the catnip balls, uh, some rattle, some don't, none of these do, just making sure. Um, my cats love catnip, they're catnip junkies, so I got the pre-made catnip balls, or mice. I will end up cutting these down. I'll probably cut at least half the string off, if not all of it, because I have string eaters, ribbon eaters. Um, Ellie Mae will do it, and so will Cindy. And if it's left on the floor, like if someone throws it up and <laughs> I hadn't caught it, um, Charlie will then come behind him and eat the throw up. It, it's what happens in my house, you know? Um, but yeah, so these were also at Target again, like $3.99, $4.99. But three catnip mice to try. I've never tried them. I've only made my own. Worth a try. Um, so I, I think the most expensive toy I got from Target was $4.99 on my receipt. Most of them were $3.99. I love Target. I love their scratching pads. They're really inexpensive, but they hold up. Excuse me. <laughs> they hold up well. I had butter chicken <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> I love me some Indian food. All right. So PetSmart. I don't like feathers. I do prefer these. This is Ellie Mae's favorite. If you've ever seen like where she gets really aggressive in the videos, that's this toy. It comes in like, if you can see all those different patterns and styles, um, she'll take any of them. They all work. She's not picky. Unfortunately, if we're not careful, she can kill it in less than, you know, five minutes. So we have to be really watch her when we're playing with the toys to make sure that she doesn't kill that toy. Um, but I do wait till they're buy one, get one free or buy, buy two, get one free at uh, PetSmart. <laughs> and then I stock up. But, so from that same company, this is the Go Cat company. Um, yeah, I'm trying to see they used to be GoCat. I'm trying to see what they are now. Um, Cat Lure Company. Okay. Um, but yeah, I get these at PetSmart. It used to be GoCat. Um, it used to say GoCat right there, but apparently it doesn't. They changed names. I hate feathers. I'm still giving it a try. Feathers, cats just like to yank pieces off of, like they're gutting and spitting out to try to actually get to the meat. I don't think they'll last very long, but maybe it's something fun. But the kicker that came with it that I could really care less about, see these toys? Remember that cat toy company I worked with? Guess he was the first one to ever put Wiggly Worms, you know, the magic cat or the magic trick toy on a cat wand. Hmm. And our company, we like to work a lot with the art designer um, and kind of pick their brain. Um, and it's funny that they are now making toys from uh, the Wiggly Worms. But I have to say the ones I designed were a little better because those paper strings, I'd make it like a octopus that came off of it. Oh my God, it, it was wonderful. But I do have very similar ones with chenille uh, yarn 
that holds up a lot better because this stuff once they break the glue that's on the very bottom because like the bottom that much of it is glue once that starts shredding the whole thing just unravels it's just two pieces of string together <coughs> so that's why i like the chenille one so look for my video where i show how to make that just saying i'm not bitter do i sound bitter <laughs> but so if you don't know that is how i started this channel was i have lots of ideas for cat toys i like being creative i have to use that creativity and so what if I show very similar toys to the ones that they sell for $15 for one of them? Um, so, you know, five and a half years working for free, putting my, what well, should have been my money back into the company to help grow it. Um, running around working about 60 hours a week with a kid or two, depending on the timing. Um, so yeah, I should be a little better. That, that's right. You, you can't blame me. It is my ideas. Um, I left shortly after I, it was told to me that they started patenting things, um, as the other person, as the designer products that I designed that she didn't even know how were made. Um, because we use stay at home moms to make those products. She had to go to the stay at home moms to get them to teach her how to make them because she had no clue. Um, so yeah, yeah. But that's why a lot of my stuff is about safety because it was a veterinary based cat toy company that was all about products that wouldn't be harmful, um, that were so fun and interactive. So yeah. I'm looking forward to trying out some of these different toys. So like, I think Ellie will go crazy for that one and that one. These won't last but like three seconds because the ends will pop off. But look at that fishy. It'll go well. Speaking of, have you seen Ellie? Oh, uh, she's probably trapped in cat room. How about you let her out? She'll oh. be everywhere. Okay, she didn't take that out. Um, yes, that veterinarian took advantage of me. Very much so. But I still had the IOU paper, so should she ever try to come after me for doing similar products that are now patented, um, some of them, I'm on the patent, just as not having rights to anything, just the company does. But yeah. Um... We're looking for Ellie. She hasn't been out. Normally she's annoying the crap out of me. Charlie's right there. Kitty, 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 kitty. Did Ellie make it? Yeah. Oh, there she comes. She's Here she there. comes. Hi, Ellie. She almost swallowed. Oh, I've got hissing going on here. Oh, you're so sleepy looking. I, I interrupted a good sleep. She's not using it up there. Hmm. Let's see, you want to come up here? No? She's like, I just Ow. woke up to the <sighs> Oh, <laughs> she accidentally hit her. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, no. There you go. But, last toy. Um, this uses real fur. And that is why I am trying this one. Goodbye. Um because Ellie does get so let's see if she'll come up and join us <laughs> she does like to try to hunt she's the one that chatters in the window at the slightest leaf movement um I think the real fur will go over really well with her yeah mm-hmm yeah that's what I thought and I don't think it says anything about catnip so this is just the fur itself is intriguing her. Um, and again, this is something from PetSmart. Um, it's Whisker City brand. I happen to like a lot of their puzzle toys. There's a couple toys I, I, I could care less about, but they, they tend to do well. And this is, you know, the old fashioned cat mouse hunting thing um, that's been around forever. Um, but it's the real 
fur of it all. Um, do be careful. Anytime you see a lot of, like, I'm trying to see. I don't think this has been dyed. Just try to stay away from any fur <laughs> that has been dyed. Uh, yeah, just because that. it can have some, uh, like, some aldehyde to preserve it. Fuzz so. Oh, yeah. she's It's it's rabbit, by the way. And it's going everywhere. And I'm allergic to rabbits, so this could be interesting. I didn't think that one through, did I? Um, so, when my face gets all puffy and I start sounding snotty, we know what happened. <laughs> you should see me walk into an exam room with rabbits. It's fun. Allergic to rabbits? Very much. That's why you've I'm never had you, one. I thought you were allergic to guinea pigs. I'm allergic to them, too. My time working in the exotic animal hospital, I, I learned very quickly what I was allergic to. Birds, most of them. Hey, Rabbits. I can't, a, I can't get a parakeet. No, you cannot get a parakeet. You <laughs> need the cat to eat it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to try to shove into the uh, stocking on Christmas night. Um, hopefully it lasts till the morning, but most likely it'll be everywhere. Fiona, if you're going to come in here and say it. hello, cat, the cat stole my spot. walk around, don't go on top of the cord. When she takes it down, <coughs> rabbit, goodness. Oh no, I don't do Benadryl either, but thank you. <laughs> I get hyper from Benadryl. I'm one of those weird people. Okay, come here. <laughs> You're fine. I'll hurt you. It's a thistle. This is Fiona. <laughs> she just saw where she popped up in the view. Um, yeah. My son is behaving like always. This is my little nugget. Mm -hmm. Up to no good. Yeah. Okay. It's weird for you to watch yourself down there. It's camera. Us. Camera. Us. Camera. Us. <laughs> Don't look over there. <laughs> but now I move everything away and I can't read the comments over there because I don't ever wear my glasses. You can read it over there. Well, that's only one comment. I can't see what all is over there. You can see it though. <laughs> <laughs> I love the comments. Yep, this is our little Fifi. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> she was told to stay out of the video today. No, you Andrew, didn't. Uh-huh. I, I told you to stay in there. I wasn't listening then. Again, her father. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on. Okay. Darn it. So, yeah. yep. That's what's going in the stocking. Um, we'll see if stocking? Santa brings anything else. What's going in my stocking? Coal. Chocolate coal like last year. No chocolate coal this time. Just straight up coal. I'll make a fire out of it. Gavin will have all of your stuff because he cleans. I clean too. <laughs> hey, I put away laundry. Um, yeah, yeah. Our, our Fiona is definitely a little version of my husband. Gavin is a little, little version of me. I'm not little. You are too little. That was 11 years old. If you could see her standing, she looks like an eight-year-old. <laughs> she, <laughs> she's bucking up at me. But let me see. Okay. Yeah, yeah. She does look a lot like Jeremy. <laughs> that seems to be what everyone in the comments is saying. But um, I do plan on after next week being able to do more DIY cat toys not just reviews not just reels or um leave that poor cat alone uh shorts um you asked me oh they want to know if they can call you little nug we call her nugget you know nugget but yes she's now covered in charlie fur but, so yeah, that is everything. If you guys have any questions, I can answer them. Um, I may kill my daughter because she can't stay away. Hey, 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 I want to listen. I'll be over here, but I'm listening. Uh-huh. <coughs> Gosh, 
freaking rabbit. Um, oh, speaking of Nug, how is his GoFundMe doing? I think it's around seven to eight thousand at this point. Um, he's thinking that he's not going to try to get the boat that's the double stacker and he may go for just the boat with without the rubber uh, dinghy boat that goes on top, just because he already has one of those, even though we've had to patch it a few times. Um, and he doesn't like the brand that's on it, um, for those of you that know what I'm talking about. Um, but use it while you have it. And right now we are so, we still have not heard back from the boat repair shop about what's going on with the old bass boat. We have a different bass boat that we are using to get us, I say us, because I'm out there, um, but get him through um, because the boat with the trailer, not the whole kit and caboodle, is still 40 grand. And that's quite a bit of some savings for us. Um, you know, we, we're not like some others where we were um, making more and a uh, buying gigantic $1.2 million houses um, and putting half of it down in cash. Um, so yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gosh, I sound better tonight. But yeah, so basically it's coming along. Um, it's definitely going to help get the boat quicker. You know, I, I, in my head, I don't imagine that we'll get the full everything just bam, you know, there's all your money. Um, it'll still take us saving some too. And I'm doing the best I can, but you know, you can only save what you, what you make, what comes in extra. Um, she doesn't stink. Fee. Goodness. Um, yeah, apparently, uh, Cindy tooted on her. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Ninja Mama. One point two million dollar house. Isn't that a something to buy? Here we are moving into an RV and selling our house to pay for said RV. Um, and other people are putting half a million dollars cash down. But granted, they had a bigger channel. But they were also begging for donations of half a million dollars. Little fishy there. But, um, yeah, so, yeah, put a big black patch over the logo. I have some of that, um, oh, the, the, not the Gorilla Tape, but the, the tape that, like, you, seals everything, that, that stuff. I have a four-inch swatch of it. Um, maybe we can put that on the boat. And then it won't fall off either, because that stuff it takes your fingerprints. Uh, yes, I'd like to think that we're honest <laughs> and, uh, you know, everything does come back around. Um, money has gone into sonars and things like that when we didn't even have the money, a lot of PayPal debt, PayPal credit card, regular credit cards, <laughs> but we're, we're not drowning. <laughs> So I am happy. Yes, flex tape. Yeah, that <laughs> when it when that boat comes back, to, uh, Jeremy will be back maybe tomorrow night, but if not Wednesday morning. Yep, yep, yep. And there's gonna be some flex tape over some logos. But so let's see. So sum up everything. The cats are getting their own. Uh, smorkish board of cat toys to try out. Um, I'm going to try to get them the toys one at a time uh, because, you know, it's kind of like kids at Christmas. They get so overwhelmed. They don't know what to play with. Cats can do the same thing, but I'm really bad at holding on to things. So we'll see what happens. There's good intentions and then there's what really happens. And, um, the house should be on the market by Christmas. Um, 
because it won't stop raining here. It has rained every single day for a week. Um, I can't get a landscaper to come out and make it look pretty. Um, as my realtor says, put lipstick on a pig. Um, because of all the rain and now all the landscapers, their regular jobs, they're backed up of uh, needing to take care of. So it's going to be a little bit till I can get a landscaper that's, you know, worth something um, to make the house look presentable for someone wanting to consider it turnkey and just, you know, want to buy it, hopefully. But it should be on the market by Christmas and we are going to live in our driveway <laughs> until it sells. And then I'm thinking we'll probably go off near Adam for a little bit my house as I'm a pig. It was before the new coat of paint. <laughs> 15 years of just chaos in that house with my mom had moved in with her stuff and her husband's stuff um, and then left a whole bunch behind like the entire garage side um, floor to ceiling and then she passes away and then he passed away um, and then my grandmother moved in with all 98 years worth of stuff and lived in the in-law suite downstairs and then she passed away um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We had a lot of stuff that wasn't ours that we then had to find places for or give away or sell or put in storage. I have a lot of storage units at the moment. Well, not a lot. I have two. And a storage pod. But the storage pod's on my mom's stuff. <laughs> sound like such a hoarder, but, um... Ooh, 120 mile an hour winds. What is that for two days? Goodness. Do you strap down the RV? Because I've seen that they have the straps that you can use for like tornadoes or hurricanes that kind of like corkscrew into the ground. Um, do you use those for that type of wind? Goodness. Um, no yard sales for us. It's been more um, Facebook Marketplace giving it away, throwing it away, or putting it in storage. And hi, flipping crazy, long time no see. Thank you for joining me, or us. Um, oh, Michelle is in my neck of the woods in Ackworth, Kennesaw. Yeah, so much rain. And the more rain tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow evening when the rest comes through. But I did see that um, the 10-day forecast has 10 days from now us getting snow. So like the 22nd. So maybe a white Christmas. I don't have uh, the heated water line yet. So <laughs> that could be a problem. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just reading the chat. Um... Flippin' Crazy says I can come sell on her channel as a guest. Yeah, that takes extra time that I don't have at the moment. Um, I did make uh, one of the Cat Scratcher Baby Yodas. Oh, <laughs> so one Baby Yoda w that I had of my Cat Scratchers went to one of the moving guys. Another guy um, was obsessed with Groot, so his family got the Baby Groot Cat Scratcher. Um... The Deadpool one had already gone, luckily. Um, it went to, um, oh, why can't I think of his name? Nathan the Cat Lady. Because he has everything like Deadpool themed in his house. Red and black room, all that. So he's got the Deadpool cat scratcher. Um, someone I've never met. I know all the people he hangs out with, which is funny. Um, because some of my favorite people besides, um, the Trap King, um, they're all people that I hang out with at the cat events when we go. Uh, so it's really crazy that like, I'll see him out handing out in the past with Ruba food and he's out with big Chris, um, or regular Chris, um, who is Chris from Colon Mar Marmalade. Uh, Chris and I talk a lot at both Chris's and I talk a lot at the cat events. I have a picture of one Chris holding the other Chris up in the air, but, uh, so it's one day I will meet Nathan. I might hit on him too. 
just not with Jeremy around. <laughs> well, I could probably do it with Jeremy around, but <laughs> he wouldn't care. Um, so let's see. Oh yeah, way too much rain. So the goal is to get out of the driveway and then head towards Adam for a little bit and then down to Florida and try to help some of the families down there. Cause there are a lot of cases in South Florida right now. So that's the, the gig. And if you want to, like I've had a lady that recently found my channel. Um, she's binging. I love it. But um, she's been asking, like, I have this type of material. Can you make a toy using this? Um, if you have suggestions of things that you do want to see how to make, let me know. Um, if I don't think it's safe, I'll tell you. Or if I think it's a good product or something that can be, you know, a good cat toy, I'll, I'll make one. So I've got a running list of things that I need to make. Um, my next DIY though is something similar to this that can't die in five minutes. Oh, if you heard that thud, that was Ellie jumping from the TV, um, to, <laughs> she knows what this is. I have to keep these hidden in a cabinet. Of course, everything is hidden from that cat. And what you can't see is the armrest down here that have teeth marks in them. Um, because one side has cat wands, one side has cat treats. By the way, I, since I got this as a, uh, it's like a three pack with this. It's like a, a cat stocking stuffer from Target. These smell like chocolate. There's no chocolate in them, but they smell like chocolate. <laughs> and the cat is slapping my hand. She really likes these. Yeah. Okay, now I have to apparently get them to her. But yeah, they come like a little chocolate bar that you break up. You fend off the cat. And um, she likes them a lot. Don't lose a finger. Um, they smell like chocolate and seafood at the same time. It's like a really bad combo that you would get in like a Japanese <laughs> snack mix. <laughs> that's, what, that's, that's what it smells like is the seaweed uh, Japanese crackers, like the spicy and the, the sesame and all that, mixed with a little bit of chocolate. Like someone threw in some uh, chocolate pieces into that mix. It's interesting. Uh, ooh, need a koala. A koala cat scratcher? Is that what you're talking about? I think I can do that. Um, ooh, 32 kittens right now. Goodness. Uh, Marcia, what area are you in? Because I may know someone that can spay and neuter for free for you. Um, you can always send a message to cattoylady at gmail.com because, um, that's my email. Oh, <laughs> she was going for it. She liked the feathers. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what she likes. But, um, if you ever have questions or need connections, I do know quite a, pe a few people around the country and can usually help with um, trying to find TNR people. Uh, oh, so you do already do the TNR. Oh, good luck. That's a lot of kittens to find homes for. And I love how people say there's kitten season. <laughs> kitten season is all the time, it feels like. Um, so yeah, Oregon, yeah, I'm trying to think. I know, actually, I do know some people in Portland that do TNR if you need extra help. Um, yeah, nope, I have an Ellie stalking me. 
Come on, Ellie. <laughs> ah, claw on the boob. Can you tell the one she likes the most? Hmm? <laughs> So yeah, it's um a, a good toy to have. Mm. Oh, and then here comes Mr. Special Needs over here. Hi, Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Charlie just plays with it once it dies. He doesn't actually go for it. And then if you hear the growling, it's because Cindy is underneath and being stepped on at the moment. But, um, yeah, she definitely wants the toy. Um, <laughs> and this is why I have to hide the toys from her. But, yep. Yeah, she's, what you don't see is her butt is on Cindy. Cindy hates the kitten so much. So if you hear this, ooh, bad breath, the hissing going on, that's because of Cindy. Cindy's down there. <laughs> but Cindy left. So yeah, um, I need to go hide this again. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm so ADD. <laughs> but, um, I will probably do another live in a couple weeks or so. If you haven't yet, will you please follow me on Facebook? I am trying to get my Facebook numbers up. Um, the Global Pet Expo, um, they changed the requirements for YouTubers. Apparently I have to have like 500,000 watch hours every month to be considered a YouTuber there. Um, so having 14,000 subscribers doesn't count. Um, but you can be considered an influencer and have only 5,000 subscribers through Facebook. I believe is the way it is. But my Facebook only has like not even 2,000 people. And I really want to go to Global Pet Expo this year. Um, it is where all the new pet products of the year are presented. Every major company in the world goes to Global Pet Expo. It is um, the United States' largest pet expo, possibly I think the world. Um, and it's every March down in Orlando. And I, I just want to be able to show it to everyone. I want to go see all the new toys. I want to be able to, um, you know, show you guys everything that's new coming out, what to expect, what to stay away from, because some people don't understand that cat toys can't be made out of hard plastic. They don't understand why cats won't, don't want to play with it. Um, so yeah, stuff like that. Um, that or too much use of mechanical toys. Some mechanical works with cats, but they're not dogs. They, they don't work that way. Um, <laughs> the fur is flying. Ooh, growl. And <laughs> Charlie. No. <laughs> Charlie's just waiting for it to sit and lay and not move, and then he'll eat it. But, so yes, follow me on Facebook. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Um, yep, the cat, to or cat Toy Lady on Facebook. Um, I do show different reels on there than I do on YouTube. Some of them are the same, but some of them are different. So, having both places, you get to see more... Uh, Charlie jumping out of Christmas trees and um, the specialness that is our life and <laughs> our being with cats. But 
thank you all. I've been on and wasting enough time. Um, so yeah. If I don't see you all beforehand, have a very Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. If you're on my side of the family, that is like that too. Yeah. Jewish side. <laughs> but um, Fiona says Merry Christmas also. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens next. Bye, guys.